versus Excel. How devastating the grounded effect was. Mickey wanted to just get in and get out on that trade. Has the Conqueror, so extending trades isn't a bad thing, and it is going to make it over the wall. Cadrill now pursuing Nemesis. Nemesis running for his life. The Conqueror is brought. Nemesis with a quick flash over. Cadrill flashing to follow. Abscond of Duck. Where's it going to go? Tries to fade away, but he doesn't get it. Nemesis with the sidestep. Cadrill with a bit of overconfidence, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a recipe for survival. Because Mickey's still running Ignite, and he wants to go for the all in. Cadrill has to be careful, though. Hillisang is here as well. The Chain CC starts to come in. Now, Cadrill. He pays the price for that one, costs him his life, and Hill is saying, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't mention this to you because I wanted to be a surprise, but 2,500 assists, the most in LEC history. They force Expect off the tower, and maybe a free kill? Oh, Expect just... That was clean. The TP now coming topside. Hillisang and Whipple are going to be in trouble. Mystique just going to throw out the ultimate. The knockout comes through. The lockdown. More damage coming in, but Whipple is still trying to make his way out. Broxa made to look for the disengage, but there's the kick coming in. It's stolen away. Cajun will not need to use it. Broxa now running, dashing out to safety. We'll use the ward hop to make it out, and only a single kill for Excel in exchange for that TP. Let's see, maybe Cajun is going to fit to a play as well, but the knockback is there. Very easy to burst the silos out of this one. They don't want to commit for anything else. The knockup immediately connects. Clean pickup. Mickey now can chase. The Conqueror has been blocked. Here comes Nemesis. Whippo, trying to fit for this play, going to be pretty massive. Mickey, not going to be able to grab it. The dash through, the EQ flash, he lands it, he goes through. Mickey's feeling himself, he might just find the outplay. The knockout goes through, Mickey, I can't believe it, that was clean. Yasuo, EQ flash to extend the range, finds the knockup and finds the kill. Roll over this cloud. Mickey will get pulled back, though, and get fit for that as well. Ground and expect comes over the wall, big he to the midst of the team, that's going to zone the rest of the members out. Expect staying full health, but locked up, but stunned down. The blast cone takes him into enemy territory, he will be killed. Blimpo will find that one. Hillisang now ready to re engage. Brox is trying to fit, trying to find the opportunity. Stolen away, Cassie Gold, he goes in right back. They want to turn it, and that's massive damage, but it's just an absolute bloodbath here. Exceller losing, Jessica is slowed, and that's going to cost him his life. The double kill for Blimpo, the triple kill for Blimpo. But for now, Whippo might actually be the one in trouble. Jessica, though, taking a lot of damage. Not respecting the temper for gameplay to come through here and just find a kill. Whippo will get one in the exchange, but that's going to be the stolen pine hole. Cajun will find the refresh. One for one in the end. Definitely Jessica fighting off more than he can chew, which is less than ideal. But now, big five potential to break out. That is the package. Huge opportunity in the gameplay. All this coming down. Mystique's he's going to try to go back in and expect on the backside. They got also there with the knock. They're trying to find the reason. Yasuo is instantly deleted. He just cannot survive in the midst of all that damage. Jessica on the outside. He's just looking into this fight, watching his team be obliterated. A freeze frame. Cadrill contemplates his option, and he knows death. The only thing left on the table, the reactivation on the Sonic Wave, but he get it. Mid flank Broxa will go down. A clean play might just stop the Baron from Fnatic. Play is still alive, but Mickey, not what he wanted. Tries to throw the one while tries to buy a bit more time. Goes golden, but Hillisane goes down. In fact, wants to disengage. Definitely the ult goes back in. Excel instantly taking the fight. The kick to disengage is beautiful. Broxa buys a bit more time. Just go fishing for the 1v1, but Pavul will not let it happen. He may just be the sacrificial pirate to ensure that his team can make it out to safety. But Reckless will not leave a man behind, and they're turning the fight. Fnatic managed to do it. Just has to run for the hills. Dire situation for itself. The pullback is there. It's been caught out for a bit. Oh, God, the barrel. Putting him to the meat grinder. There is nothing left. Mystique now tries to run for the hills. Roxa goes in. Has to be careful, though. Still a pretty squishy lead set overall. Mickey going to try to find something. Goes for the kick back. He's next to the list. They're taking names. Jessica tries to get one back in return. Mickey, the hero moment. Potential turn this one around, but he can't get past the wind wall. Goes down. GA Prox. It's a brief moment, but he's already dead. The flash forward. Nemesis wants a little bit more. Mickey tries to find a way out, but Fnatic just destroying Excel in these exchanges. Nemesis will grab one more. It's a free Baron for Fnatic. Yo, coming in, Jessica incredibly low already. Beautiful Cassio stuff will stop the engagement as tracks. Jessica though, too low to make it into the fight. Whippo just shredding through the XL lineup. Fighting off more than they can chew. Fight on the bottom side as well. Kate draws to flash out to safety. Another tower is dropping. Fnatic are just walking into the base of Excel. They're making it look too easy. They are simply too far ahead. 10k gold lead. Maybe an opportunity for Excel to turn this one. But Fnatic just disengage. It is not looking likely. Oh no, he hooks the wall. Dashes in and out for Mickey. Looks cool, but will not amount to much. Now pinned through the corner, tries to use Broxa as an escape. Jessica leaps forward on a Reckless, tries to get something back. Reckless now unstoppable. The rest of the fight kicks off. Nemesis going through the 2v1 in the midst of everything. Sony expect out. That's it. Fnatic moving in with confidence. An absolutely dominant game for the team. A bit rocky in the early game, no doubt, but absolute control in the mid to late game. XL did not stand a chance, and even their fountain may not be enough to save them. Fnatic take the win. Oh, wait, what? Is this, is this Garen Yumi ball lane? Garen ball lane! What? Did you guys know about that? Yes! <laughs> you 
<laughs> well, you got played in the UKLC like that three weeks ago. What are you doing about this? <laughs> they want to wait till Vitality start up this buff fight until it does see them. Here we go. Oh. Prowling projectile, reckless running forward. He's gonna be able to land the silence. So the team now backing off. Bullbear has procted. Which is okay in the midst of everything. This fight is starting to turn, but who's actually gonna come out on top? Prox division for the kill. Mogli wants to get one down, but of course, blood. Bobo flashing over, but Prox is next on the menu. It's an absolute blood, but reckless has the red buff. How did that happen? But now he might just give it up. The flash around the wall, but now Jack Troll has it. He's healing up from the passive. He's gonna be incredibly powerful, but he's opting to run instead. Fnatic, a two for two in the end. But Vitality gets the buff. Mowgli will take away this red buff. Prox has to be careful. He's gonna oh, get flipped no. back. Might not be able to dash to safety as well. The E gonna stop for now. Good damage coming in. Zuke now trying to force the dive to fly forward. Nemesis is gonna go down. That's two quick kills. Vitality have come alive. Blue killed Nemesis in that 1v1 matchup as well. Now we see some action top lane. Lupin now trying to force the play. Flashes forward using the thundering blow to knock Cabo Shard back. Cabo trying to buy as much time as possible. The execute damage comes in. Broxo will grab the return kill. Fnatic 1k behind. Corky might have the package as well in the mid lane, but now they're fishing on the bottom side. They're gonna steal Garen's ultimate. They're gonna use it against him. Dunks down by his own ult. Oh, look at the dragon. Look at the dragon. It's stolen away. Mowgli not able to grab that one. Gives his life. What was Mowgli doing in the meantime? Um, but it was all about playing your style, and it's great to see Vitality perform like this, especially against the likes of Fnatic. As Jisuke and Nemesis battle once more. Maybe Overstaying is welcome on the bottom side. However, freeze frames. He tries to run away. Forced to use the flash. Nemesis will continue to trade. It's a battle of quirky alts, but the shutdown. Yumi's gonna kill the bullet bear. We're gonna have to watch that replay in a moment. Meanwhile, shifting attention back to the top side. Reckless now on the hunt. He's been picked on long enough. It's his turn to fight. But he's still very slow. He's going to back off. And instead, Mowgli's just going to turn on to Bwebo. He's fishing for one kill. Maybe looking for a second for the Yumi's healing him up. He's not going to grab it. And we've been here before. This time, Bwebo gets the better of Vitality. And Rex alive. This is still alive. And Fnatic are just living across the board. Here comes Nemesis. Corky on the way in. Is the Valkyrie going to be able to? Are they going to commit for anything else? So many members survive. Hillisang is a hero. Starts to farm up a little bit more. Attila now in trouble, does a lot of damage, but is very squishy. Eyes on Attila, is he gonna come over the wall? He wants to dash in, Zuki trying to find a way into the backside. Leaps in on the cross and kicks him into the rest of the team. Attila now gonna pitch for a kill, takes him down. Jack Troll bites it down, but in the end, the Kyle will go to the Karma. Reckless now trying to finish it off. The Karma gonna be the enemy, and Reckless is spinning to win. The execute will not come through for him overall. But now the rest of the team forced to retrieve. Vitality have been rounded. A triple kill for Flippo, I can't believe it. Towards that one, Jack. Jackdroll going in though, this is way too aggressive. Now has to flash out to safety. If they can be able to turn, this final chapter comes in, he's still alive for now. Hellas ain't gonna grab that kill, and the rest of the team is still can turn. They continue the fight, but Combo Shard is just in the midst of Fnatic, and they're falling apart now, taking out Brox Vision for the kick, but he won't find it. What a mess of a fight! And of course, the prowling projectile is gonna make it nigh impossible for them to escape. The miss on the Abscon Abduct. Mowgli now stepping forward to damage, but Reckless body blocking the vast majority of the calling it. That poke coming in from Nemesis for the Corky. Put on the side and power shock quest. Here it goes, huge damage! That might be enough. Fnatic gonna push into the mid lane, fish for a little bit more. Prowling projectile connects, and Fnatic have the mid lane priority necessary. They can just sit in the fog of war and utilize this poke to keep Vitality away, while the other members can just start off the Baron. And we see just Wait. that. Now, yeah, not even gonna be contested. Vitality force. They can't here. because they're getting, they're getting pushed back. <laughs> all tie this duo. <laughs> oh my God, I've seen this in three. Run away. Reckless is unstoppable. This is. The raw decision-making power of Hillisang could not hold on to it. And now Fnatic, with this composition, have to come and stop. Here we go. Here we go. Jack Troll flipping it back. Nemesis kind of misses the team. The Lost Chapter comes out, trying to buy a bit more time. Running forward, but instantly, Jack Troll dies. And definitely finding out more than they can choose. Oh! oh! Clean play from the Lee Sin. Finally, Broxy gets to play League of Legends. Now stepping forward. Zuke running for the hills, but it might be too little too late. That's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Fnatic, one final blow, one final nail in the coffin. And Zuke can't get anything else done. They're playing. They're taking their time. Fnatic moving into the base to find the kills, and they will end the game here, keeping themselves tied up with Splice, keeping themselves in the race for second, and ever closer to a spot in Athens.